Today I would like to do a little unboxing of the new Lenovo ThinkPad A485 and a little technical overview of the entire thing. The new ThinkPad A485 comes equipped with a new AMD Ryzen mobile processor, either the 7, 5 or 3, depending on the model you choose. It comes with a 14 inch display and the choice can be a full HD with touch, a full HD or just an HD monitor. But with 14 inch, I just recommend the ordinary full HD without touch screen, which comes most of the options you have on the Lenovo homepage equipped with. The Ryzen has an integrated graphics card, standard charging adapter with USB-C to the side. This is really great because my old Lenovo laptop still has the proprietary connector, which is just not that nice. And especially since you can connect this one to a docking station and have the power supply still over USB-C is really, really nice. What is really sweet about this machine is that it's user serviceable inside, but you always have to keep in mind, says in the menu, you have to disable the internal battery first before you do anything on the inside of the machine. So always keep that in mind, just don't open it, deactivate the internal battery in the BIOS, in the manual, there's a step-by-step -step guide to how to do that. Always keep that in mind for safety. You have to like this little rubber touch to the top of the laptop. It gives you a firm grip on it. But if you like those shiny MacBooks, it might seem a bit strange. For example, my brother doesn't like that at all. He prefers this Mac finish metal look and feel. So that's kind of preference. But with a business laptop, I would expect a little firm grip. If I grip it on the run, I don't want that to slip away. Most models are equipped with a standard NVM e-solid state drive. Mine comes equipped with a 265 gigabyte version. You can go down and even have an ordinary hard two and a half inch hard disk. The real cool thing is, but that's what we're going to find out later, that you can equip a second M2 SSD, which I have lying about in the van slot. And you can apparently equip another two and a half inch. So this is not either or you can attach all three. And that's really, really sweet compared to the other models, which are with Ryzen processors. Of the factory it just comes equipped with one stick of memory so you won't be able to use dual channel memory straight away. You either have to equip a second stick of memory yourself or have it ordered the way by Lenovo directly. You can fit in 32 gigabytes of RAM in there altogether and that's about the limits of this machine. It's pretty nice if you want to go there in the long run and have it equipped with another stick you can go for single channel now and have dual channel later on the road when the PC gets slower in comparison to new models and have a little boost of performance there later on. The keyboard comes in several language options and it can have light or no light on it. This one is the light version as you can see on the space bar that there's the light. The keyboard is nice and clicky. I really love it that you have to put some force down to get the keys down. And what I really like is it's 10 keyless, which really makes a little bit of room and you have bigger keys in comparison if you would have with 10 keys, the keys would be really, really tiny. So I'd rather have these big keys and then have a 10 keyless. It works just fine for me. On the right side, we have first and left side in audio jack for audio and microphone. We have a USB 3.1 port. We have an HDMI 2.0 port so you can connect 4K monitors to it. And we have another USB 3.1 port with power. And we have the LAN connector which I really love on my books. I prefer LAN cables over wireless LAN. So every time I'm looking for a notebook, I really want these connectors 
because I don't want to have that on a dog running around. And then we have an SD card reader there, which is on the left side of the notebook. We have two USB-C ports and one Thunderbolt port. These are all three are being connected to the dock. If you slip that in, you will see that later on the picture. That's basically what the dock slips in. You can't see on the picture there's a card reader. I haven't found out quite for what is this for. I don't even know if this is equipped in my notebook. It's open. Maybe I find a card later which fits in there and I find out the purpose. If someone knows, post a link in the comments below and make it sticky so everyone will find out what that's for. When should you consider buying the new Lenovo ThinkPad A48? First, if you want compatibility and upgradability for the future. It is compatible with the docking station. You can upgrade more RAM. You can upgrade the hard disk. You can even put a two and a half inch hard disk in it. That's what makes this a really sweet notebook. Second, it's come with a decent performance and connectivity. You can put apparently two 5K monitors on it and you've got 4K support on the HDMI. And that is a really, really big bonus because most notebooks with Ryzen mobile process I've seen just got HD output, full HD output, and will not support 2K or even 4K. So this is what makes this machine really, really great because if you're planning to upgrade the monitor in the future, you will be able to and you don't have to buy a new notebook straight away just because you want to upgrade your... When shouldn't you buy this notebook? If you're not planning to put a dock on here, this might seem a bit of an overkill. If you just want to connect a full HD monitor or two, you will find better deals down the road. The E485 is a real sweet spot there. You can connect those two on there. You're just wasting your money. It's a 700 euro difference to this notebook and if you're just using notebook on its own without any big screens with high resolution, you're just wasting your money. You just get a little, little bit of more performance for that much of money. It's just not worth it. For upcoming videos, I will make a short video about the docking station I've bought with this laptop. And when I manage to get that thing open at the back and we are going to put an SSD in it, a second one, and after I've done that, I will try out and put Fedora on it and do some Linux experiments with this laptop and the dock and see how well I get that. Then maybe I will do a little blog about it because often you're not getting to the point where you want to be with Linux in the first run. Thanks for watching.